One thing that you can expect to see at some point from Micah, he loves throwing that Superman punch. Micah Haas with the strong leg kick right away, sweeps Oscar Herrera down. Clinch up against the fence. Mike and Super Drew Haas rocking the army green trunks. Oscar Herrera in the white. And a little bit of back and forth exchange right now in these clinches. We've had both guys exchange back off of the fence. Right now, Micah pressing Oscar's back up against the fence. Micah's head's a little bit high for where he'd ideally want it, right? He would want to have that head driven underneath the chin underneath to be in the, the best chin, position. Yeah. Oscar breaks away off the break. Referee Tim Mills better get his butt out of the way. Because these flyweights move fast. Fast. Fate draws a reaction there. Micah Haas is big for a 125er. Kick right in the nuts. A little break in the action here. Yeah, Micah, as of this morning, posted that he was back up to roughly, you know, 142 pounds. And Oscar's probably about 129. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, Oscar's a kid that, you know, with one coming here, and we've seen one in uh, come to Denver, you know, and they have a 115 pound men's division. You know, typically you don't hear like, "Oh, this kid would be good for that." Yeah, Oscar is more suited to be a 115 pound male fighter for sure. Uh, obviously, that's not necessarily an option in most promotions. Um, that's the first time we've heard that in a couple of shows. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, thanks for Oscar. Taking his time right now, making sure that he's back ready to go after that green strike. Sometimes when you take one right to the junk there, folks, that feels like everything is up in your throat. Your gut is turned into knots too as well. For those who have never felt that before. <laughs> And per the new rules change, that is, uh, he, he does have up to five minutes. As you should, as you should. You should have as much time as you need to get kicked, racked in the nuts, I mean. Away here. Oscar needs to throw, but they're both throwing fast too. Yeah, Oscar needs to find a way to kind of take the center back. You know, he's he's living on the on the outside. That's not a place you want to be, and it's kind of making him reactionary. Yes, and he also has to in that same turn. There's that Superman punch that we mentioned right there. There it is, yeah. Right now, Micah is leading the dance. Oscar needs to do something to get that respect back. Yeah, 100%. Because right now, it looks like just by the approach from Micah, he feels like he's he's kind of in a bully position right now. Is that yeah, fair to say? Yeah, that's fair to say. Uh, Oscar needs to do something, like you said, to gain the respect, take the center back, and ultimately make Micah respect his power. So you can't just willy-nilly run in with that Superman punch. A couple of exchanges in the clinch landed there. Ooh, but Oscar, Oscar with the going. rotation. Might Oscar take his back here. The back. And Oscar's a slick grappler. Oscar I mean, Oscar's is a slick. very technical fighter. 
sometimes the question for Oscar is being able to bite down and work through it, right? Yeah. Well, we don't want to, Oscar does not want to just sit here and park in this position. He's doing a good job fighting hands, but I was waiting for him to jump that. But yeah, he might want to let go of that. Bit. He might want to let go of that. Rotation now from Micah Haas returns Oscar's back to the fence. Micah now is starting to work for his own single leg. Oh, oh, slick, off of slick attempt at back take. We'll see if he's able to complete it here, but I like the idea there. You know, like you're probably going to get taken down. You feel like you're losing the hit battle, so go for the go for it. Correct. With 45 seconds left in the round. Art Petrosian calling for the left elbow to come from Micah Haas here in this position. Art Petrosian also a former champion here with us in Colorado Combat Club, professional ranks as a welterweight. <laughs> Micah doing a good job flattening the hips. It looks like these guys are just uh, they're comfortable settling, ending the round right here in this position. Yeah, and a little bit of veteran savvy right there from Micah over the top, Cover covering in the, the breathing. Mouth, yeah. Oh, the round ended. Where's the bell? Where's the bell? The round's over. That's time. That's time. They did a five and a half minute round just to test them. <laughs> Video board might have been off based on the stoppage. Could could be. That would be my guess, is that they, they kept the timer on the video running as opposed to official time. And a lot of confidence right now being shown in that red corner. Looks like Jake Ramos is telling Micah Haas to stay on exactly what he's doing right now. Now, if you're Markel Medeiros or Rafa Will in the red corner, what are you offering to Oscar Herrera? Oscar's got to take center. He can't allow Micah to dictate. It seems like Micah is obviously the bigger, bigger guy. He's a little more imposing physically. So if he can put your back on the cage, you get these exchanges, and then he pushes you up against the cage, he's winning those minutes. Even if it doesn't look dominant, even if it's not a ton of damage, you're losing those minutes in the fight. set to be underway for the second round of the fight. Yeah, Oscar has to bite down and go. Micah came to fight tonight. And these guys were originally slated to fight back in the amateur days, and that fight fell through fight week, so I know that this is one that they both wanted to have the opportunity to get back. It's like right here, Oscar's giving up ground slowly. Yeah, see here, when he makes that move, he did a big feint. Take the center. And don't just allow him to push you back, right? Like, Oscar's almost, he'll strike, and then he'll push himself back. Watch, he'll take a step back here. Yeah. So it's not necessarily anything that Mike is doing too much. It's that Oscar is, is allowing himself to just be pushed back. Mike is going to be there on the other side. Kick. That ground that Oscar has given up, Mike is then taking advantage of that. Inside leg kick offered by Micah, followed up by a takedown attempt. Clinch up against the fence. But see here, here is the great work that Mike is doing, getting into the cage. I can just put you against the cage and being the stronger, more physical guy can hold you here and win minutes of a fight. Certainly. You know, and so Oscar has to at all costs bite down on his mouthpiece. And you know, if you're gonna lose, lose on your terms. Don't lose yeah. on the other guy's terms. Certainly. Now. It's easier said than done when you're in there. <laughs> Definitely. Knee attempt in the clinch there from Micah Haas blocked, but those shoulder shucks are definitely 
causing a little bit of a reaction there. Those aren't extremely damaging by any means, but they do produce a reaction, right? And they make you look busy, too. So, like, the ref's not going to pull you off if you're doing little things like that because it makes it look like you're being staying busy, staying active. Yeah, Bellator veteran Grant Neal from the crowd chanting instructions to Michael the Super Jew Haas. And those knees inside, just as you mentioned, those are enough just to continue to maintain this position and racking up scoring opportunities on the card there. Off of the trip, Haas ends up in Herrera's guard. Herrera with the body triangle in the guard right now, and that's kind of a more of just a, a stay here position, right? As opposed to, okay, I'm working to start to try to attack or get away. Now he's back to a, a normal guard. And a warning from referee Tim Mills to stay busy. Micah has the opportunity to continue to score from this position, but if you're Oscar Herrera from the bottom, Cody, what are you looking to do to try to improve your position? Well, you have to open your guard, right? You're never going to get out if you keep your guard closed. Uh, he's in a bad spot with his head post up here, but you got to open your guard and use your feet on hips and try to make a little space so you can use the cage to get up. Or, you've already heard the ref say you got to be busy, so you can try to hold him in and hope that you get a stand up. I don't typically suggest that because refs are very hesitant to stand it up. Um, you know, because how much more activity have we really seen here since he said it the first time? Very little, very little. Micah just with a couple of little short elbow strikes right here from the guard. But again, enough to maintain the position and to continue there without being stood up, right? I guess. <laughs> and the referee, Tim Mills' eyes, that's the case. <laughs> And through two rounds of action, we are almost on to the final round of the evening. Now this is, uh, this is a situation now, if you're Oscar Herrera, you have to go for broke in this final round. Yeah, you got to go for broke. You got to just assume that you're down two. I mean, one was, was close. You know, he could have won one. But you got to assume you're down two going into this, and you got to get a finish. Absolutely. You know, throw the kitchen sink. We've seen a couple of the spinning attacks offered earlier. Whatever that means for him to go out there and to try to flip the script here. Because right now... Micah has a look in his eyes like he is, uh, that he is full systems go and he's ready to march forward. Both fighters offer a hook right away to start the round. Body kick lands from Haas. But as you mentioned before, Oscar keeps on backing himself up right against the fence, and that puts him in such a reactionary position as opposed to being the guy driving the action. Absolutely. 
He's gotten his center back right now, but he needs to start doing more off of these feints if he wants to have any sort of measurable success right now. Hit feints offered from each guy. Overhand from Haas lands. Herrera goes for the spinning attack. Haas times a level change to evade it. And right back to the clinch up against the fence. Oscar has to be in desperation mode right here to get off the cage. He can't spend any time on this cage right now. And if I'm Micah, I'm just holding him here. I know I can take him down. I know I can control him on the ground. And Micah just scoring with these knees to the leg by the leg to Herrera here. And that's just enough to keep him in that position and to maintain that spot. You know, right now with him in the driver's seat, as Cody mentioned, Oscar has to be the one to change the course of action here if he wants anything different to happen. But if you're Micah, you're executing your game plan, right? Yeah, absolutely. And he's done it from the first minute, right? He's held center. He's worked the lower half. And he's gotten to his takedowns when he needs to. The break, Oscar takes the center back. About halfway into this third and final round. He's going to the well too many times with that spinning attack, it seems. Yeah, and it's because he's, he's, he's getting tipped. He's getting pushed backwards. So rather than be tipped straight backwards and, and eat shots, his defense is to, to throw a spin, which, you know, typically... Your spinning attacks are going to be off your offense, right? Off of your pressure, off of you forcing them to an angle, not off of your defense back. But now, by virtue of using that same tactic multiple times in the fight, Micah was now able to time that and was able to secure the takedown, taking the back off of there. That's something that we saw even at the highest of levels in the UFC when Alexa Grasso submitted Valentina Shevchenko off of that same exact takedown. Yeah, exactly. Oscar has to get active right now. He's got two minutes. He has to work to his feet. And Micah doesn't have to do anything. Micah has to stay right here and, and win the fight, you know? Yeah, and I mean, by all looks, Micah has definitely done his work with the strength and conditioning department coming into this contest, too. Because he's been strong in every single exchange in terms of just body to body, right? Yeah, for sure. He's definitely the stronger guy. Like I said, uh, Mike is a true 125-er, and I feel like Oscar uh, is a 115-pounder. I feel like Oscar would tell you that, you know. But unfortunately, that's not an option in most American promotions. So right. he's going to have to figure out how to close that gap of physicality and strength, you know. And with roughly a minute left in this main event. Micah following the instructions from his corner to put the head into the fence. And for a lack of a better reference, as you guys have mentioned, Micah can go on cruise control for this remainder of this fight right now if he wanted to. It's not really his motif, but he could do so if he wanted to. And these punches from the bottom from Oscar aren't doing so much as opposed to trying to really get active with his guard to throw up a submission attempt. You know, a valiant effort, but Micah right now is basically a paperweight. He is suffocating him with that pressure, and he's scoring when he needs to to keep the action there without being stood up. And a little bit of showmanship right there from the Super Jew. And by the look of it there, we will see Micah Haas get his hand raised tonight here in the main event. Show of excitement and jubilation there. Uh, 
Oh, and we will have our official decision here shortly for the judges. Bred out by our entering announcer, Aaron Burrell. We want to thank all of you who tuned in tonight on the broadcast as well as everybody here in attendance tonight. Also a quick shout out to a couple of our sponsors as we tally up these scorecards. We want to give a shout out to 5280 Muay Thai, Emporium Sports Bar, Costa Films, Comments from the Peanut Gallery, Denver Test Driver, Positive Pack Creations, Best Sports Management, Beltrans Meat Market, and Yeti Bar and Grill. Ladies and gentlemen, all three of your judges have reached a unanimous decision. Each judge scores about the same team about 30, 27. Declare your winner, the unanimous decision. Micah, the Super Q! And Micah, the Super Jew Haas picks up the unanimous decision victory tonight.